cunning Christian apologist, destroyed by scientific facts. Aisha said, Whoever narrated to you that the Prophet would urinate while standing, then don't believe him. He would not urinate, except while squatting. Sunan an nasai number 29. It was narrated that Aisha said, Whoever tells you that the Messenger of Allah urinated standing up, do not believe him, for he would not urinate, except while squatting. So, Muhammad peed like a girl. And because Surah 33 verse 21 of the Quran calls Muhammad the pattern of conduct for Muslims, Muslims from the time of Muhammad down to the present day pee while squatting. As we read in the follow-up commentary on Jamiat Termini number 12, Umar said, I have not urinated while standing since I accepted Islam. So, part of submitting to Allah is peeing like a girl. What is the scientific explanation? Peeing while standing up. After a boy is fully potty trained and can aim, he goes from peeing sitting down to standing up to pee. Actually, this could be a mistake. There are several reasons that men should pee sitting down. First, they won't need to worry about missing the toilet bowl when they go. Come on, admit it guys, we're not always the best with our aim. Second, it makes emptying the bladder a bit easier, especially for men with prostate issues. Finally, going to the bathroom can be more relaxing when you're sitting down. The next time you have to pee, guys, try doing it sitting down. You just might find you like it better. Science has discovered the optimal way to do your number twos. Sitting on the toilet places your knees at a 90 degree angle to your abdomen, which actually leads to a relaxed colon and a slightly choked rectum. This causes some additional strain on the abdomen and can lead to gastrointestinal issues. Before the invention of the flushing toilet at the end of the 16th century, we all just used to squat in the woods, occasionally glancing over our shoulders for any imminent bear attacks. And that's apparently the best way to do it. Squatting relaxes the muscles in our pelvic floor and straightens our rectums, thus making the process a lot easier. And there is now actually a product available to help. It's called the Squatty Potty. It elevates your feet and ensures your knees are above your hips so that you are sitting at effectively the same angle you would be if you were squatting, thereby making bathroom breaks a whole lot simpler and helping to prevent issues such as hemorrhoids, constipation, colitis, and colon cancer. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty pumped about my skill to stand up and pee. It's not really a skill, I'm just proud I can do it. Because I'm a busy businessman doing busy important business things, I don't have time to sit down. Unless I want some me time, I want to check Tumblr, or want a nap. The one downside of standing and peeing in the restroom is splashback, which can compromise the cleanliness of the bathroom and can even damage the floors and walls around me. Also, it's pretty gross when pee splashes back on my shins when I'm wearing shorts in the bathroom. Really ruins my day. A landlord in Germany was so fed up with the urine damage to the marble floors in his complex, he attempted to keep the security deposit of 1,900 euros, or $2,200, from one of his tenants. Upon researching this story, though, I learned that there's a pretty big movement to have men sit while they urinate in public spaces. Lavatories and cafes, movies, theaters and even people's own homes feature signs and warnings that men have to sit while they make the pee-pee. They even have diagrams for men who don't quite understand the process of sitting while urinating. It is seen in German culture that men who sit while peeing are less than men or wimps. They even came up with the name Sitzpinkler. You don't want to be a Sitzpinkler, do you? Personally, I understand why they require men to sit in public settings. Men's bathrooms are disgusting and urine gets everywhere. Literally everywhere. But when I'm home, I would like the option to stand or sit. So what if I get some pee-pee on the floor or on the magazines next to the toilet? I don't care. I'm still gonna read them. Therefore, it's a medical fact that squatting while urination or defecation is more healthy and hygienic. And, socially a good behavior and manner, but it is something distasteful and unacceptable to people like David Wood who are highly uncivilized and degenerate. David Wood is trying very hard to be sacrilegious and funny to enrage Muslims. Why is this man so desperate to mock and belittle Islam and messenger of the God, Muhammad? The answer is simple. There is no other easy way to make money, get fame and media attention than slandering and demonizing Islam. Even a troll, ignorant of facts like David Wood, with twisted understandings, deliberate false pretense, tasteless humor with corny jokes, and clownish behavior, is befooling people of the society. Like, share, and subscribe to create awareness.
We are also available on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and PalTalk.